now they are learners uh, now you have to uh, know the basic concept uh, that is Venn diagram technique for testing syllogism now they are learners you have to see the blackboard so I have to uh, see I have to uh, write I have to show some uh, circles uh, how logicians have used the Venn diagram technique for testing syllogism. Dear learners, now you see the section that is Venn diagram technique for testing syllogism. Now you see, dear learners, this section, the term Venn diagram technique to diagram the standard form categorical propositions. In order to diagram the standard form of categorical syllogism, it is necessary to take three circles for the term, for the three terms, that is major term, major term, minor term, and middle term, middle term. This circle abbreviated as S. PM. So you see their learners, you take the three circles, now you see the three circles, so three circles abbreviated as S, P, M representing the, you see, the minor term, the major term, and middle term, middle term, are drawn in such a way that they overlap each other. They overlap each other. So you see their learners, we first draw the two overlapping circles. That is the circle S and the circle P. And then we draw the third circle M, this one M. This one M. So you see, dear learners, the diagram of three overlapping circles between S, P, and M give the diagram of A class. They are S, P, M, S, P, M, S, P bar, M bar, then S bar. P, M bar, then S, P, M bar, then S, P, M, then S, P bar, M, then S bar, P, M, S bar, P bar M and S P bar M bar. Now they are learners. Now you see this diagram can be interpreted in terms of various classes. For example, we can take the letter S for the class of all scientists. This S indicates that all scientists. Then P for the class of all philosophers. So this P indicates all philosophers. This indicates all philosophers. And first one that S indicates all scientists. This indicates all 
scientist and M for the class of all mathematicians. So this indicates mathematicians class. Now they are learners, you see. Now the part S, P bar, M bar in this diagram represents the class of all scientists who are neither philosophers nor mathematicians. Again, I repeat, so they are learners, you see, S bar, S, P bar, M bar represents the what? So all are scientists who are neither philosophers nor mathematicians. So it is the product of three class scientists and non-philosophers and non-mathematicians. Now you see S, P, M bar is the product of the class scientists and philosophers and non-mathematicians. Now you see they are learners. You see S, P, M bar means what? that this is also the product of the class scientists and philosophers and non-mathematicians. Now they are learners, you see S, P, S, P bar, M is the class which is the product of scientists and mathematicians and philosophers, which is the product of scientists and mathematicians and philosophers. The part SPM, this part, you see they are learners. So second one you see S bar P M bar means, P means you see the all philosophers, then it is non-scientists or non-mathematician. This is also the product of the three classes. The three classes are that is scientists, philosophers and mathematicians. So first one you see that is philosophers who are neither scientists nor mathematicians. Now that you see SPM means what? So this part SPM represents the class of all those people who are scientists and at the same time philosophers and mathematicians, this SPM. So this means, so all are scientists, philosophers and at the same time mathematicians. Now you see S bar S P bar M. So you see this also represents the three classes but you see so the classes are that scientists all are scientists but they are not philosophers but they are mathematicians. Now you see S bar P M. So this also represents the three classes. The first one is scientists the second one is philosophers, then mathematicians. So you see, this class represents that all are philosophers, mathematicians, but they are not scientists. Here you see, S bar, P bar, M. This also represents the three classes, but this says that, this indicates that, that uh, they are neither scientists nor philosophers, but they are mathematicians. Now you see, they are learners. So S, P bar, M bar. So this also represents the three classes, but it indicates that, this indicates that only the scientists, but they are not philosophers and they are not mathematicians. So you see their learners, 
it is the class of all those people who are neither scientists nor philosophers nor mathematicians s p bar m bar so this indicates s bar p bar m bar it indicates that they are neither scientists nor philosophers nor mathematicians so it is the so you see they are learners by setting out or by inserting an x we can draw diagram of any standard form categorical propositions whose terms are s p m now you see they are learners by setting out or by inserting an x we can diagram any standard form of categorical propositions whose terms are s p m for example to diagram the proposition all s are p s p bar 0 uh, is equal 0 we have to set out of all s that is not contained in p as shown in below you see there are learners you see in the blackboard this is the first circle and second one is another circle you see here we have to set this part you see so this is all s is p so we have to set out of all out all of s that is not contained in p so you see we have to set this part which is not contained in p as shown in below you have to see the diagram to diagram the proposition sum s r p s b s bar s p is not equal to zero we have to put x in the overlapping part of the circle s and p now you see sum s r p s p m here we have to write x means it indicates that to diagram the proposition sum s r p s p is not equal to zero s p is not equal to zero means it indicates that x there are some members here so you see we have to put an x here we have to put x here in the overlapping part of the circle s and p here we have to write s sum s r p s p is not equal to zero here we have to write s p is equal to s p bar is equal to zero so you see the general technique of using venn diagram for testing syllogism or for testing the validity of syllogism any standard form of categorical syllogism we have to follow some rules here that is in standard form categorical syllogism we have three terms represented by s you see there are three circles here it indicates that there are three classes first one is s we indicate that scientist class then philosophers class then mathematicians class here there are three classes s p m so it represents three terms so three three circles represents three terms that is s p m first we draw the overlapping circles and they are labeled as s and p you see the circle s stand for the minor terms so this stands for minor terms s and p stands for major term and you see and m stands for the middle term 
this one is middle. We diagram what the premise is if one premise is universal and the other premise is particular, then it is necessary to diagram the universal premise first and then to diagram the particular premise. So you see, first we have to diagram the major premise, then one is the minor premise, then the conclusion here. It is to be noted that we need not diagram the conclusion, rather we must respect the diagram to see whether or not the diagram of the premises contains in it the diagram of the conclusion. Again I repeat there learners, you see, we diagram both the premises. If one premise is universal and the other premise is particular, then it is necessary to diagram the universal premise first and then to diagram the particular premise. Now you see there learners the third point, very important point, that is, it is to be noted that we not, need not diagram the conclusion, rather we must inspect the diagram, means we must examine the diagram to see whether or not the diagram of the premises contained in the diagrams of the conclusion. If the diagram of the premises contain the diagram of the conclusion, then the given syllogism or the taken syllogism for testing that it is valid. If it does not, then if it does not means if the diagram does not show, the conclusion is contained in the circle, then the syllogism will be invalid. So there are learners, you see, the diagram of the premises of a valid argument should be sufficient enough to include the diagram of the conclusion, such that no further marking of the circles is needed. Now there are learners, you see, how we test the validity of the syllogism. Now you see, uh, Dear learners, you take an example, all mathematicians are, all mathematicians are philosophers. Second one you take, all scientists are, all scientists are mathematicians. And third one you take, all scientists are philosophers. All scientists are philosophers. Now you see they are learners. This is an example of syllogism and how uh, we have to test this syllogism using the Venn diagram technique. You see they are learners, this syllogism consists of A proposition. All are A propositions. You see A and A. These are all A propositions. See, they are uh, learners. We have to uh, draw the uh, figures. Now you see the first one. S, P, M. Here we have to set this part. M, P bar equal uh, to zero. The first figure. The second one, you see, S M bar is equal to zero. We have to set this part. This part. And third one, S. S P M. The third one you see you see S P M S P M here we have to set this part.
So these three figures you see they are learners. Now you see figure one. You see figure one represents the diagram of the premises M P bar zero. M P M P bar consists of two classes that is M P bar R bar M P bar R bar or M P S bar that is not R that is M P bar S bar and M S P bar these two parts are shaded horizontally to indicate that M P bar M P bar zero likewise figure two represents the diagram of the premise as M bar zero here you see S M bar consists of two parts that is S P bar S P bar or M bar and S P M bar. So these two parts are horizontally shaded to represent the diagram of the premise like S M bar zero. The conclusion of the syllogism S P bar zero demands that the parts here you see the third figure this is first one this is second one this is third one here you see the parts s s p bar m and s m p bar must be shaded S S P bar equal to zero. So the diagram of the two premises contained in them here you see the diagram of the two premises contained in them the diagram of the premises. Therefore, the given syllogism that given syllogism you see. All mathematicians are scientists, all mathematicians are philosophers, all scientists are mathematicians, therefore all scientists are philosophers. So this syllogism is valid. So they are learners. In this way, logicians have used the Venn diagram technique for testing syllogism, whether the syllogism is valid or invalid. So in this way, uh, logicians have given forwarded the concept like hand diagram technique for testing syllogism. Yes. They are learners. Now you see the very basic points or highlighting points uh, included in this unit. Uh, there you see a standard form categorical syllogism consists of standard form categorical propositions. Second one, the form of a standard form categorical syllogism is determined by its mood and figure, which already have been discussed. The third one, to test the validity of standard form categorical syllogism, three overlapping circles are drawn. We diagram both the premises but not the conclusion. The diagram of the premises must entail in it the diagram of the conclusion. An argument is valid if and only if the diagram of the conclusion follow from the diagram of the premises. So they are learners. These are the three basic points included in this unit. Now they are learners. To know in details about this unit, you have to consult some important books. These books are here, you see. You can take the book uh, Symbolic Logic written by M. Gopi. 
And second one, you can take another very important book that is uh, written by Sam Kishor Singh. Book is Modern Logic. And also you can take another very important book that is written by Krishna Jain. Uh, that is a textbook of logic. So they are lionized. I think uh, you have benefited uh, after going through this unit like standard form of category of syllogism. Thank you.